We are still with chapter 6 in biology, which talks about hormones. So today we'll talk about the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland has three lobes. Three lobes. We have an anterior lobe, a middle lobe, and a posterior lobe. Both anterior and middle lobes together are called the adeno hypophysis. The adeno hypophysis. And the posterior one is called the neuro hypophysis. The neuro hypophysis. So today we're going to talk about the adeno hypophysis. What hormones does this adeno hypophysis? Uh, produce. So the first type of hormones here is the growth hormones, which we refer to as DH. And this one is responsible for the protein synthesis inside the human body. So uh, here we have two cases. The effects of growth hormones in both cases in uh, youngsters or in childhood and in adults. So, if there is a hyposecretion of growth hormones, means that uh, the growth hormone is not produced sufficiently, it's produced in a very little amount, this leads to a case called dwarfism. So that the person grows to be a dwarf. And if there is a hypersecretion of the uh, growth hormone in youngsters or childhood, this of course leads or yields the uh, the total opposite of that, which is a case called gigantism. Well, in adults, if there's a hypersecretion of the growth hormone, this leads to a, a syndrome called acromegaly, and this is characterized by enlarged bones at the extremities and large bones of hands, uh, feet, fingers, and bones of face. So, as we know, as we said before, that growth hormone is, is responsible for protein formation, so it affects the formation of bones, and if there's a hypersecretion, this, of course, enlarges the size of bones. So, that was uh, all that we have about the growth hormone. And then the next type of hormones secreted by the adenohypophysis of the pituitary gland is the pituitary tropis. Here we have three types. We have thyrotropin, and we refer to it as TSH, as a thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid, as it stimulates the thyroid gland. Thyroid stimulating hormone. And we have adrenocorticotropic hormone, and this one uh, stimulates the adrenal cortex of the kidney. The adrenal cortex, so that's why it's called adrenocorticotropic. Adreno for adrenal and cortico for cortex. And then we have gonadotropic hormones, and these stimulate the gonads, the um, ovaries in females, and testes in males. Now, here in the gonadotropic hormones, we have three types we have a follicle stimulating hormone and this is uh, called FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Uh, this hormone in females it stimulates the formation of ovarian follicle and graphene follicles. So uh, in females it stimulates the formation of follicles. And in males it stimulates the formation of spermatozoa and uh, seminiferous tubules and prostate gland. So three things in um, males, two in females. Then we have luteinizing hormone. Uh, this hormone is responsible for the formation of corpus luteum in females, corpus luteum, and the formation and secretion of interstitial cells in males. Um, also we have 
the prolactin hormone, the prolactin hormone stimulates the secretion of the mammary gland and breasts of females, and it also stimulates the secretion of progesterone hormone, the progesterone hormone from the corpus luteum. So first, the luteinizing hormone helps in the formation of the corpus luteum. Then the prolactin stimulates the, the secretion of progesterone from the corpus luteum. So that is it for the adenohypophysis. In the next time, we will talk about the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland, which is called the neurohypophysis. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you.